My name is Bank Norberg. I'm the chief instructor of Volvo Cars Driving Academy. I'm going to take you around the track and show you what we can do with the new XC60. You can see that we really twist the chassis of the car. The left to the rear wheel is uh, half a meter up in there. So here we open the door, all four doors at the same time, close them again without problem. That means it's a well-built chassis in the car. You are on the way up to the mountain and suddenly the wheel spins and you get stuck. This is a quite tricky situation. You have to reverse downhill, it's a twisty road and it's very, very slippery. So we put in the reverse. Luckily, we have the hill descent control in the car. What I have to do is keep the car on the road. I take my feet away from the pedal, the car reverse with a speed of six kilometers per hour and stabilize the car, for example, if the front or the rear is skidding during the time you're reversing. This is a very good help when it's slippery and you're reversing. Of course, it works forward too. And when we are driving forward, it keeps a speed of 10 kilometers per hour. So, on the top of the hill, I take my feet away from the pedal and we'll see what happens. We go over some bumps and here we can see that we have the right front wheel and the left rear wheel spinning. That means the central differential, the Haldex is doing their work, put the power back to the wheel, but we can't drive away. Why? We have to give more power. We have three plates with rolls and this is no friction on it. We can say it's ice. And now we have three wheels on the ice. And the right rear wheel is the only wheel who has friction. And whenever I want, I give more power and the car moves. So, it's a four-wheel drive car. The maximum sideways you can put up the car to 42 degrees. Then it's over and out. And, uh, of course, we try to go as close as possible to the 42 degrees. So, we try to move the car up a little bit more, like that. Now we begin to get a really nice angle of the car. And we are going down. You can drive in water with the 35 centimeters deep with the car if you not drive too fast, so you build up a wave in front of the car. Then we are going into left hand band, the angle is totally wrong, but it's so good traction in this car, so it's no problem to give him a really nice ride around it. And now it gets really rough, it's 15 centimeters high concrete we have to move over with the car. And the suspension is perfect and also the car is very, very quiet. You have not heard a quick anything from the chassis during the lap. Thank you very much and have a really nice day together with your friends and the new XC60.